Good day everyone. Uh, in today's videos, I will be doing something slightly different. Uh, this is a bet that I made uh, from eBay. Um, so here you have like uh, this Sergeant and Greenleaf 8088 uh, padlock, which is a very nice combination um, padlock. The, the mechanism in there is really similar to um, group two padlocks, uh, group two, sorry, safe. Um, and Unfortunately, this one, and it, it's kind of, a, uh, you know, if you buy bad logs that don't have the combination, it's kind of a, a lottery. This one is completely full bar. So first of all, the combination is not the default 10, 20, 30, uh, and then back to zero to open. So uh, that's one thing. And second thing, uh, the so the second and third wheel are really, really stiff. So, you know, like here, the first wheel is kind of okay. Then I pick up the, then it becomes really, really tough to move. Um, so what that means is uh, this is a very nice, uh, well, slightly rusty pepper weight at that point. So the only thing that is left is transforming this thing into uh, cut away and see what's inside. So let's go in the garage and see if we can salvage this thing and do something about it. Okay, so from what I can see, there are four pins uh, with like that I marked here, and I will try to be non as as non destructive as possible at the beginning. So I'll just use a disc and try to cut the back plate and up to the pins so let's see how it goes And this is why, kids, you always use your safety glasses. So <laughs> let's see what's... Ah, the thing might be opening. Ah, oh, nice, here. Here is a remaining of the steel pin. Yeah, it's it's magnetic. So this is steel and that's why it was like sparking like hell. Oh. And here we are. Surprise, surprise. Let's let me zoom a little bit here to see what's in there. Whoa, okay, this is very, very filthy. I think there's going to be... hell of a work to do to clean that... to clean that crap. But... hopefully... Ugh. Okay, now I understand why the thing is... Here we are, and this would be the first gate aligned. Cool. Okay, so we may actually have a way to salvage this uh, thing 
into a usable uh, cutaway lock. Okay, let's uh, let me clean the garage and uh, we'll go back to the bench. Okay, so now that we have the padlock open, the moment of truth, let's decode and it and figure out what was the combination. Uh, this padlock so is working exactly like a group two safe, meaning that you can see here uh, you have three wheels with um, gates, and the goal of the combination is to put all these gates under this fence here, and then you can have the whole you know you can pull the shackle and the whole thing is going to drop. So let's go ahead and see how it works. Uh, so the way you're going to do, and this is actually how locksmiths are doing when they have to open a, a safe that they don't know the combination of, they're going to drill a hole, like somewhere, for example, you know, close to the fence, and then use a bore scope to look at the wheels and the fence. And then by manipulating the lock, um, you can figure out the, the combination. So let's go ahead. Uh, so the first thing that you have to do with this lock is you have to turn um, clockwise three times. And the reason for that is that every time you're going to turn once, you're going to pick up one, one of these wheels. So here uh, you can see I'm doing one turn and only the back wheel is turning. And now at, I've, I just done, did one turn and you can see that the first wheel is starting to move. So let's keep going because we want to to grab the last one in the back, which is going to be the first number of the combination. So here, second turn, now two wheels are moving. And third turn is here. And now you can see that all the wheels are moving. So. Let's go slowly until we see the gate, and here it is, and then let's try to align the gate as close as we can, maybe a little bit more, yep, okay, let's see, look at the combination, clearly a number one, so the first number is a one, okay. So now let's go and try to get the, the next number. So we have to go the other way because if we keep going, um, the third wheel is going to move. So we go the other way. We pick up the first wheel and then we are going to do another turn to pick up the second wheel. And then oh, here he is. And now we have to align so this is, I think, just a defect in the wheel. Um, so we have to align the second gate and here it is. So let's go slowly and try to align everything. Uh, Okay, this looks pretty aligned, so let's look at the number here. It is a 9. Okay, 9. Yeah. And now we have to go the other way, so one turn. And... Oops. Here is the last combination. So, oop, maybe a bit more. Okay. The last number is a 31. Okay. And now, if we go, so 31, and then you have to go back to zero with this lock to align the notch and now if we pull the shackle everything is going to you can see the butterfly is like pulling everything and everything goes inside and you can open the padlock 
so and it's you know it's um, open so let's reassemble everything and check that indeed we found the right combination so you know let me just scramble everything okay and then let's put the back on Excuse me. Something is not. Oh. Oh, I see. So the this mechanism here, like, was. I have to make sure. Yeah. Um, so when I pulled the shackle open, this mechanism just uh, got pushed out. So I just need. Um, to reset these springs and then reassemble it. Here we are. So now it should be able to close. Hopefully. Here we are. So closed back. So and it's you know locked so now you know i go f at least three time um, anti-clockwise uh, to number one so let's go to number one then i have to go the other way so picking up the first wheel Came up the second wheel, and now the second number was a nine. So I go back to ten, nine, and now I go the other way one turn, one turn, and go to thirty one, thirty one, and I have to go back to zero to. Align the notch, zero. And now if everything was right, I should be able to open the padlock. Here we are, it was just open. So we just decoded um, this Sergeant and Greenleaf um, 8088. Um, it was a little bit dis destructive, but uh, now we have a great platform to make a cutaway um, i will have a lot of cleaning and uh, of all this grime but it uh, it's probably going to be a fun project um, thank you for watching and remember the rule only try this at home and leave any feral locks to professional thank you bye